Hello everybody, David here, and this is a demonstration of voltage dividing. Today we're going to be using two resistors. This right here is a light-dependent resistor, also called a photoresistor. It changes resistance based on whether light is hitting it. Let me show you real quickly. So, right now, the resistance is about 1 kilo ohm, but if I put my finger on it, it goes up to 12, sometimes 20. Now, this right here is just a constant resistor. It has a constant resistance of about 60 kilo ohms. Should be somewhere around there. Now, what we're going to do is put these in series. So, I'm just going to use this red wire with alligator clips and hook the leg of one to the leg of the other. And then we'll take the supply leads and hook one here and the other there. Now the electricity goes from the supply through this resistor and then through this resistor and then back. So together they must be dropping 5 volts total. Now the cool thing is we can measure the individual voltage drops of each resistor. So, let's take our multimeter probes and I'm going to hook, change this back to voltage mode. I'm going to hook an alligator clip to each of the probes. Doesn't matter which one I do really. We're going to do the light dependent resistor first. So, there we go. And you can see Right now, the voltage drop across the light-dependent resistor is about 0.08 volts. Now, the cool thing is, if I put my finger over it, the resistance changes, and now we're dropping almost 1.5 volts. So, let's see what happens when we hook the probes up to the constant resistor. Now, you'll notice that together, they drop 5 volts. Now, this resistor is measuring about 4.95 volts. Now, just now, this was mm, a little more than 0 0.05 volts, but together, they're dropping just about 5 volts. And that's close enough for me, given how the precision here um, only goes out to one decimal point, um, decimal place, sorry. Now, if I put my finger on here, aha! Now, if you'll remember, when I had my finger on here, the voltage drop across the light-dependent resistor was about 1.5 volts. And now, here, it's a little less than 3.5. So, pretty close. The cool thing is that you can detect whether there's light hitting the light-dependent resistor just by measuring the voltage drop across either one of the resistors. It doesn't matter which one you do, because it'll change. In fact, the ratio between the resistances is the ratio between the voltage drops. So if I change the resistance of one resistor, the ratio changes, and then the other ratio has to change as well, and then you can measure a different voltage, and they'll always add up to a voltage drop of 5 volts. So essentially, this is a voltage divider because we're dividing the voltage between these two resistors. Even though they're hooked up in series, it's a kind of counterintuitive, I understand. But that's how it is. And there you have it. That's a voltage divider. Well, thanks, you all. thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next one.